This summer, Canton will institute a new automated recycling program that will swap out the current 18-gallon bin with a new 64-gallon cart. The larger carts are equipped with lids to promote a cleaner community and have wheels to make getting recyclables to the curb easier and more convenient. Canton also hopes that the larger carts will help achieve the goal of 21% recycling rate by the end of 2018. By keeping materials out of the landfill in Canton Township, uh, we're extending the life of our landfill. So the more you recycle, the longer our landfill will last. Uh, Canton residents have a unique situation where we do not pay tipping fees for our landfill. So the longer we can make it last, the cheaper the cost will be for our residents. Delivery of the new carts will begin the week of June 5th. Crews will deliver carts to the end of each resident's driveway. Residents do not need to be present to receive the cart. You may begin using your cart as soon as you get it. However, it will take about three weeks to deliver all carts. If you do not receive your cart the week of June 5th, please continue using your green bin until your new cart is delivered. On non-collection days, carts should be stored inside your garage or under your carport. If you do not have a garage or carport, or do not have adequate room, then please store it beside your residence. Your homeowners association may have additional rules about placement that you will need to comply with. The new carts have a slightly larger footprint than the existing bins. Uh, they're only about one or two inches length and width larger, but they are taller. They are four times the volume. Uh, the proposed carts are going to be 64 gallons in volume compared to the 18 gallon bins that we currently have. If residents do not want to use their recycling service, there is going to be a waiver procedure that the township is going to institute. In order to get a waiver, that the resident needs to contact the township to get a waiver form and waive those services. Carts should be placed on your driveway apron and not in the street. They should also be placed on the opposite side of your drive from your refuse, leaving at least six inches around the cart so the mechanical arm on the truck can easily fit around the cart. Hinges and handles should face toward your residence with the lifting bar facing the street. Once you receive your new cart, your 18-gallon bin and clear plastic bags will no longer be accepted at the curb. All recyclables must be inside the cart. Anything left outside of the cart will not be picked up. Note, carts are for recyclables only. Yard waste will not be accepted inside the cart. Please continue to put your yard waste in 32-gallon containers or paper yard waste bags. When residents receive their new carts, uh, they have a couple options available to them. They can keep using the old bins inside their home and use it just for temporary storage so they can take the debris or recyclables, uh, fill up their existing bin and then dump them into the cart weekly. Or if they want to recycle the existing bin, they can throw it inside the recycling cart. Although the carts are new, residential collection days and materials accepted will not change. For convenience, each cart will have a list of acceptable items printed on the lid, which includes cardboard and paper bags, non-wax coated paper board, magazines and catalogs, junk mail, office paper, phone books, newspaper, pots and pans, clear and colored glass, metal and aluminum cans, plastic marked with the recycling symbol one through seven, and plastic bags. It is important to note that all items placed inside the container should be rinsed off first. In addition, greasy cardboard such as pizza boxes should be kept out of the cart to avoid contamination. The facility that we send our materials to down in Huron Township, uh, they have a separation process, but they do ask us that materials are clean. So we ask people to clean some of the jars out, some of the cans. Uh, we also ask them not to contaminate the recyclables with items that aren't accepted, such as wood, grass clippings, and styrofoam. The new carts will be owned by Canton. However, homeowners will be responsible for the care of the cart. All reports of damage must be immediately reported to GFL Services at 844-464-3587. If the damage was caused by the collection vehicle or the operator, 
then GFL will replace the cart at no charge. If damage or theft is from any other cause, the resident will be responsible for replacement. But it's not my bear! For more information on the new automated recycling service, please call GFL at 844-464-3587 or visit canton-mi.org to view a list of frequently asked questions.